morning. It is Tuesday, I don't know, about 7.30, and I woke up to this amazing view. It's actually a lot louder than it was in the Jeep. Um, I, uh, I knew I'd stop at a rest stop or a truck stop last night. I'm heading out of Pennsylvania and towards Virginia, and I'm gonna go to the Shenandoah National Park. So I'm gonna do the Skyline Drive, which I've kind of always wanted to do. Um, everything around here is kind of dead, so it's not the best timing. Uh, nothing's really in bloom yet like it is uh, down south. So I'll, uh, I'll just check out the amazing views anyway. It just won't be a whole lot of green and a whole lot of color probably. But um, after that, I'm going to jump on the Blue Ridge Parkway and take that from Virginia all the way down through North Carolina. And probably stay somewhere along that tonight. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not making any plans. Um, there happens to be a campground that's free. I'll jump on it but more than likely I, last time I looked there really wasn't anything like that so it'll probably be a truck stop or a rest stop and like I said, I'm fine with those so I just made my instant coffee and I'm gonna sit here a little bit longer and then get going because I think it's like another 60 miles before I'll get there and uh, I want to get there somewhat early so that I can take my time going through the park so uh, thanks to my sister and my brother, I uh, brother-in-law, uh, I get to go to the park for free because they got me an annual pass, and uh, that is kind of like icing on the cake. So I really wanted to do this, and I was actually thinking of bypassing it because I didn't want to pay for it. Um, so it's like thirty dollars, uh, and I could just jump on the Blue Ridge, which probably is about the same um, scenery, and I don't hike much, so that's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm not doing it in the Shenandoah Valley, but we'll see what the day brings. Um, it's cool that I'm going to get to do it. I'm kind of excited about it. I'll have the whole day to do it. The sun's out, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, talk to you later. So, this is the first stop coming through the north entrance of the Shenandoah National Park. And you come through Front Royal, which is a cool little town if you ever get a chance to go through there. So this is the beginning of 105 miles on Skyline Drive. And uh, even though the cloud cover came out, it's still really pretty. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of these stops along the way. Pretty cool, the blue marks take you up there, there, and to the top. I can do that one-handed.
and it's pretty cold, but I need to get into shape. I don't think I'm going to do that one-handed. So this up top is the reward. There's the road down there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. This is why they call it a scramble because you got to go through all of that plus what I've already went through. Just got to go there, there, up to there. Looks a lot better in person, but it's uh, not what you'd consider an easy hike, that's for sure. After coming over that and then down there, up there, over, and then you end up. view of the entire walk. So my day ended a little bit different than I thought it would. I was about 40 miles from the end of the Skyline Drive and I came across a gate that had just been closed. So I thought the park didn't close till 8. It closed at 5.30, um, that part of the, the drive anyway. And maybe it was for another reason, I don't know. But I decided to just uh, come down to the start of the Blue Ridge Parkway, which I was going to do anyway. And this happens to be where the Skyline Drive also starts. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stay here for the night and maybe go uh, back on the Skyline Drive tomorrow morning, maybe go about 20 miles in and then turn around and come back and then do the Blue Ridge Parkway. But I'm on top of this hill that used to be an old uh, motel that had this view you can see behind me and it's where a couple of intersections meet and so I think I'm going to I read on freecampsites.com I think that's the site that people stay at that location overnight it's an abandoned restaurant and that uh, a lot of bikers and hikers stay there so that they can get on the trails in the morning I think I'm going to give that a shot and if that doesn't work and someone taps on my window and says to get out, there's a rest stop not too far from here. So I think I'm going to stay up here on the hill, get something to eat and see if there's any nice views with the sun going down. I was hoping to get the sunset from the Skyline Drive, but obviously that ain't going to work out. So I'm just going to stay up here, make something to eat and see what there is to offer as far as the sunset. Go down there, get ready for bed, clean up a little bit, and then uh, start fresh tomorrow. And tonight for dinner, chicken tortilla soup. Well, today is a little bit of a bust already. I'm not going to be able to get back on Skyline Drive. The information that I got about uh, the last 40 miles being closed was well over a week old and it said snow and ice and there's no snow, no ice anywhere in this area. So I figured it was maybe a little bit outdated and that's still the message today. The gate's closed so I'm not sure if they forgot to take down the message and I need to wait till 930 for that gate to open but I'm not going to wait around that long. Um, it said uh, off season hours is 930 and well, I don't know if they consider this off season. I know at some point this month they're gonna consider it in season. I'm just not sure when. It doesn't say anywhere on their site that I could tell. So I just jumped on the Blue Ridge Parkway and I'm gonna take my time uh, taking this down through Virginia and into North Carolina. But this morning my view is much better than it was yesterday. So this is my first stop on the Blue Ridge which is actually about not even a quarter of a mile from where I was sleeping. Just kind of, I wouldn't call it sketchy, but it was definitely an odd place to sleep. Lots of people coming in and out. A lot of people meeting other people in the middle of the night. And uh, some people just rolling clo uh, slowly through. Other people stopping for five minutes, half an hour. They could just be coming off the Blue Ridge and trying to figure out where to go next. But It could also be, I don't know, something weird going on. But uh, I'm sure some of it was. 
up at the lookout where I was last night, those uh, people that were staying in that abandoned hotel, there's, I don't know what's going on there, but I don't know, maybe it was a meth house or something like that. Um, don't care. Uh, nobody bothered me. So I will uh, just kind of go with it. But I'll leave a review on where I got that location from and just warn people that if they're paranoid, that is not the place to stay. It was super loud too, louder than a, than a truck stop or a, um, or a rest stop. But anyway, I made it through the night. I'm on the Blue Ridge and just see what the day holds. So when I was standing up there, there's another rock like that on the other side, about the same height, and uh, some girl was sitting on the edge. Yeah, I'm not uh, looking for a photo op quite like that. Don't need to die this early in the trip. So I'm about 50 to 60 miles into the Blue Ridge Parkway, and I think I'm going to end this segment. But before I do, I want to thank Mitch. He made a uh, Patreon pledge, and Mitch, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And from here, I think I'm going to continue on here probably for another 50, 60 miles at least uh, today. And then in a couple of days, I'm going to be out in western North Carolina uh, visiting a friend and their cabin. So that should be really nice. And then beyond that, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'll have to decide over the next few days if I want to head south, head further west. Um, but uh, I've got about three weeks before I need to be in Texas. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But until then, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave your comments below.